Good morning, John. So maybe it has not escaped everyone's notice that we are up to something. Two different subscriptions to two very different products? What are these boys doing? Well, let me tell you. Several years ago, we realized something obvious, that there are many things that people want and need. Drinking a delicious cup of coffee, for example, is a tremendous joy for many people, including for me. Putting on socks that are art made by artists and having people point at them and go, I like your socks. Or sometimes people point at them and go, I have those too. That's also a happy feeling. And people are going to buy socks and they're going to buy coffee and they're going to buy a lot of other things. And what you and I are trying to figure out, John, let's let everybody know the secret is can you make those things really well and have people really love them and, and have it be a great experience for them and build something really weird and unusual, which is companies that give away all their profit. So instead of the money going to make the lives of the owners better, it goes to make the world generally better. Now, when we talk about this stuff with people like we're getting advice from, they often say like, why are you doing this? Why would you work so hard creating a business that you do not benefit from financially? And why spend 15 years building up a community on the internet only to monetize it for somebody else? And I have two main answers to that question. The first answer used to be, because we have plenty now, which is true. We have plenty now. But when I said this to people in the, like, the business world, they were often quite incredulous because, of course, they know lots of people who have plenty and yet are still interested in more. So here's the refined and I think actually more accurate version of that answer. At this point, we are more interested in impact than wealth. I would not work half as hard as I do on the sock club if it was just about me making more money. And I know that that is also the case with you and the coffee. If we didn't have Partners in Health's work there to excite us, I just don't think that we would be as ambitious as we are. But second thing, and I think that this is an even bigger deal, the thing that has excited us about this for 15 years has not been building a community so that we can make a living. It's been building a community. And one of the most amazing things about communities is when they can build things together. An example from Nerdfighteria, like I feel a lot of personal pride in Crash Course because it's a wonderful thing that helps a lot of people. It has a lot of value. But I also feel a lot of community pride in Crash Course because the people at Complexly and the people who wrote the scripts, all our freelancers and Thought Cafe and everybody all came together to make that thing with each other. And that was the community. But also maybe the thing about it that I am most proud of is that it would never have been able to get funding and it would never have had its initial viewership that sort of carried it forward and helped it grow if it were not for this community. Crash Course is something Nerdfighteria built. And that is true for so many of the things that we have done. I don't see them as things I did. I see them as things that we did. And I feel that way because it's true. Now I think that this community could have been somewhat proud of a sock club for profit. Like as a thing that we made together and like we work with artists and we create art socks that people like to wear. I feel that way about lots of projects that YouTubers do. I feel that way about Hollow Taco and about Dropout TV. But we are lucky enough to be able to ask what is the best and coolest thing that we can do with this activation energy? And it is stuff like delicious, ethically sourced coffee that gives all of its profit to charity. And I don't think that this is a small or even medium-sized idea. I could be wrong, been wrong before. But I think it's possible that someday there will be awesome Coffee Club subscribers who have no idea who Hank and John Green are. That to me is the best outcome, that this community builds things that spread across the world, doing good and making people happy and making the world a better place with people having no idea that that's something we did. Already, the coffee club is doing a tremendous amount of good. I think it's donated already $100,000 to Partners in Health. And also, every bag delivers two dozen delicious cups of coffee. So there's that benefit as well. But no matter how big it is, I hope that you who are watching this know that whether or not you want this coffee or not, and it's fine if you don't, I hope that you feel the same pride as I do in the impact that this community has had. John, congrats on the launch. I'll see you on Tuesday. Also, yes, you can still sign up for the club at awesomecoffeeclub.com.